I'm that guy on YouTube that reviewed nearly every single Judy One load to release this year. And today I want to give you my top 10 favorite Judy One loads of the year, what in my opinions are the best one. But remember, this is my opinion only and you can always disagree with me. But first, you gotta listen to my top 10 list, best Judy One loads of the year. But before we go into that, please let me ask you to go and hit the thumbs up if you like the content. Also go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Activate the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I have learned a video which is every single day guys so go follow me on my Instagram and on TikTok as Jason J Cakes and now let's begin this top 10 there's been a lot of great dinner one lows this year so before I go into my top 10 list first let me give you some honorable mentions that I think they're also amazing. Might not make my top 10 list, but I think they're amazing as well. And the first one is the Philippine Jordan One Low. For you, this shoe might be in your top 10 list and I will totally understand why. To me, will be in my honorable mentions, but really dope shoe as well. Also, the Black Elephant Jordan One Lows. These are super clean, goes with everything. Another shoe that could be in the top 10 list, but yeah, you know what it is. Also, the UNC2 Chicago quality and colorway in this one is super fire. The only reason these are not in my top 10 list is because this shoe is only on in women's size and you know, big footers. The limit, the limit, just because of that issue is not on my top 10 list. And the final honorable mention that I'm going to give you is the Jordan 1 Lowe's Year of the Rabbit. This one are super nice, but super limited. That's why this one didn't make it to my top 10 list. With all those honorable mentions being named, let's go with the top 10 best Jordan 1 Lowe's of the year, in my opinion. And in my opinion, at number 10, I have the Elephant Print Jordan One Low, AKA the Cement Jordan One Low. This one, I man, for real, underrated as hell. This shoe really looks good in person. On feet, they also looks fantastic. In my opinion, these are way better than the high version of these shoes. So the Elephant Print Jordan One Lows are my number 10 sneaker, I mean, Jordan One Low of the year. At number nine, I have the Concord Jordan One Lows. This one are super damn clean. Yes, they're pattern leather and everything, but this is so freaking clean and I love the shoe. As soon as I saw it, like, I love it. I love it, man. These are super clean, has that panda called the way you call it blocking, but the shoe's fire. The shoe's fire and these are my number nine best sneaker of the year. At number eight, I have a tie because I couldn't decide for which of these two was better and I wanted to include both of them on the top 10 list. So at number eight, I have two pair of Jordan 1 Lows, the Bread Toes 2.0s and the Royal Toe 2.0s. Both of these shoes look amazing, classic colorways. These two shoes are simply beautiful. Of course, this had to be in my top 10 list. That's why I put them both side by side, they release nearly at the same time and they have the same color blocking, those different colorways, amazing shoes. These two Jordan One Lows are my top eight best Jordan One Low of the year. At number seven, I have a super, super clean pair of Jordan One Lows, another underrated in this top 10 list, like all of these Jordan One Lows, I gotta say. And at number seven, I have the Jordan One Low OG's University Red. This one look a lot like a pair of Jordan One Lows, like uh, one of the OG's, real OG's, just that this one is not metallic, but it's super clean. The leather quality is also really good. It's a OG silhouette, it's the OG version of the Jordan One Low. So of course, this one have to be in my top 10 because they are super clean and I have them at number seven but at number six i have another one that this one was not widely available you know was kind of limited but the shoe was super dope and has some dope details and now i'm talking about that at number six i have the chris paul jordan one lows aka given flowers this one is super beautiful the details 
the, the design of the shoe really, really amazing. This is a shoe that whenever you have the chance to see this shoe in person, you're gonna know why I have these shoes at number six. Beautiful, clean, what can I say, man? I just love it, I just love it. But here we go down to the five best Jordan 1 lows of 2023. And here is where I have shoes that blows my mind. Like, I mean, I, you know I love all of them, right? You know what, you know what? But these are what in my opinions are the five top five best releases of the year. Some of these I have them in my top 10 sneakers of the year. Not only getting ones or getting one low, but sneakers of the year. And at number five, I have a really beautiful shoe. It's a collaboration and it's the Jordan One Low Olive Travis Cut. This shoe really looks nice. The quality of it is really good as well. The reverse swoosh is something that I was not really feeling it. Probably that's why this shoe is not lower in this top 10 list, but definitely a really clean pair of shoes. A little bit limited as well, was not that easy to get. So yeah, I know it's like, it was really hard to get, but it's a really fire shoe anyway. And I have this shoe in my top five Jordan 1 lows of the year. At number four, I have what in my opinion is the best retro version of the Jordan 1 low and is the Vintage UMC Gray Jordan 1 low. This one, I think they don't release on, on USA, but it was pretty easy to get on places like Gold and StockX. The resale value of it was not that high. I don't know how the resale value is right now, but this issue is super beautiful. I was blown away for how nice the shoe is and I was like, why Nike didn't release this shoe in the United States? Like, why? The shoe is nice. I think this shoe will have been a sold out because of how beautiful the shoe is. That's why I have this one at number four in my top 10 list of best Jordan 1 lows of the year. But at number three, I have one of my most absolute favorite Jordan 1 lows, super clean. The, the quality, I think these are the best quality Jordan 1 lows of the year. And now I'm talking about the atmosphere gray Jordan 1 lows. Just look at a shoe. The shoe is beautiful, goes with everything. I know a lot of you don't even have the shoe in your top 10 list because the shoe is still sitting in stores today. You can get the shoe for on the retail straight from Nike, JD Sport, Foot Locker, you name it. All of those retail stores have the shoe for on the retail. And in my opinion, these are one of the best releases of the year when it comes to Jordan 1 lows, the quality is absolute best. Man, these are my number three best Jordan 1 lows of the year. At number two, here we go. At number two, I have a shoe that I'm super proud to have in my collection, I gotta say. I'm super proud to say that I own a OG Jordan 1 low in a true form. And I'm talking about the neutral gray Jordan 1 low 85 cut. I love the shoe deeply, deeply. Like I'm so proud to have it. And these shoes still sitting in stores in those local boutiques. They still have the shoes available. And I think these are super amazing. First time this shoe released and your boy have it. You know your boy love Jordan 1 low. So of course I gotta have these and I have it. And the shoe I think looks amazing. The quality, the shape. This is history, your boy gotta have it. And I got these at number two in my top 10 list of the best Jordan 1 lows of the year. And at number one as the shoe that I was looking for since last year when the shoe was rumored to release this year. And I'm talking about the absolute best Jordan 1 low, no debate, the black toe Jordan 1 low. This shoe is, I have them right here. This shoe is absolutely fire, beautiful. The execution is amazing. This shoe was sitting in shelves for months. And still today, you can get these shoes in some stores. They still got some sizes available. This is my number one Jordan 1 low of the year. I have wear these a lot. I got three pairs of these. I triple up on this because of how fire the shoe is. The quality is simply amazing. The colorway and color blocking is beautiful and classic. The black toe, one of the best Jordan 1s all time. And the black toe lows are my best and favorite 
Jordan 1 low of the year. Of course, this one has to be number one. Just look at the shoe, the execution, simply amazing. Let me know about shoe. How do you think was my top 10 list? Do you agree with me? Or do you have some other shoes that I didn't include in my top 10 list that you have in your top 10 list? Let me know in the comment section, which are your top five favorite Jordan 1 lows of the year. Jordan 1 lows are kind of underrated, but they look super, super dope and I love them. Let me know about you guys. Thank you a lot for watching the video, guys. If you want to know more about me and my content, go follow me here on my Instagram, JasonJKX, for more sneaker content, shock drop, everything, all kinds of sneaker information. Follow me on Instagram, JasonJKX. Thank you a lot for watching this video, and until the next one, goodbye.